The Avery County Humane Society in Newland, North Carolina will be holding its annual poinsettia sale from December 5th through the 23rd. Please support your Humane Society. Season's greeting from WSTA TV. Get out. Wait a minute. Move, Wally. Not until we talk. Fran Burke, is that the mechanicist? Why? Are you sure of that? Yes, I'm sure. I called over Wally and Mrs. Burke answered the phone. Why? What's going on? I want you to run to the house then. Get your father. Tell him there's a family crisis and to get over here right away. What kind of crisis? Brenda, don't ask questions. Just go and get your father, please. I can't believe it. You mean I'm going to be included in something or else? Ow! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Careful. Guess what? There's a family crisis going on. Brenda, I'm hurry! All right, I'm going. What's all the excitement? I am glad you're here. I'm not saying that. I just came by to ask a favor. Will you and the rest of the family help me and Sloan out by showing all mass at Mario's tonight? Absolutely not. It's exactly the wrong night for Craig's family to go anywhere in public. Why? What's wrong? You better sit down. Friends? I've been thinking about what you told me earlier. You know, about a close friend betraying your trust. And it just occurs to me that if indeed this person did get you to sell your property under false pretenses, then maybe you should do something more than just get Moonlight back. You know, maybe you do have grounds for a lawsuit. There's no maybe about it. I definitely have legitimate grounds. Johnson. Tastes great. Brown coffee lover Virginia Buckland. Ah, that's good. Enjoy Sanka brand decaffeinated coffee, ground roasted, for a rich, fresh brewed, delicious cup of coffee. So take it from real ground coffee lovers like John Russ Kelly. Ah, that's good. For fresh brewed flavor, discover Sanka ground coffee for yourself. Ronnie, listen to me. No, thanks. I've done all the I that. said listen to me. So I just came from the hospital, and I ran into Beth, and I was talking to her. Actually, I was pumping her about Ronnie, information. you had no right to do I that. had every right to do that. That doesn't matter. It's not important. She didn't just tell get me. get to the point. I am trying to get to the point. Okay, something is going on that I think that you and I know nothing about. Such as? Such as I don't know. But we have to find it out, and the only way we can find it out is if we sit down and discuss it like civilized humans. Sorry, Ronnie, I am not leaving this door until we talk. I mean it. All right. How about your way? But you are wasting your time. If I wanted to talk to you, I would have talked to you when you called me at work. But I was angry while wait I was in and I Wait a minute, I never called you at work. I was so angry at you, I promised myself I'd never even speak to you again. Well, without speaking to you, Yes, I'm sure it does. Now that you're running around in such rich circles, you don't need me. What is that supposed to mean? That is supposed to mean your big shot boss, Zed Diamond. Who is Zed Diamond anyway? What are you talking about? Look, if you came Wait, here... Wait, I am talking boss, about you're standing me up and going out with your boss. What? Me stand you up? Yes. What? I haven't you got things just a little twisted around here? You're the one who never showed up. You stood me up for some stupid poker game. What poker game? What are you talking about? I never went to a poker game. There's no doubt that I have a legitimate lawsuit, though it's probably not the one you're thinking of, but that's 
not the problem. Well, what is the problem? Well, the cost for starters. Legal fees are so expensive it makes it almost impossible to go to court. Yeah, but if you do have the grounds, I'd hate to see you not press the issue. Unless there are other problems. Would it help you to talk about it? Well, I'm afraid there isn't much to talk about. Clarissa. I've been hurt. I've been betrayed by someone I trust. Now I'm mad as hell and I want to get back at them. The trouble is I'm not the only one involved and I, I can't get revenge without hurting someone else. Who? Someone I love more than anything in the world and would die rather than hurt. To top it all off, I, I may have to lie to protect that someone. And I don't know if I can do it. I've never had to lie to her before. And it... Well, it's, it's pretty complicated. I'm sure it is. I want you to understand, I'm not a vindictive person. It's just that I'm not the only one involved in this. I understand perfectly. And if just a little of what you've told me is true, then I think you're more than entitled. Fran, is this someone else you're talking about, your daughter? Yes. Have you found Amy's father? All right, Mert, I'm sitting down. Now, just tell me what this latest crisis is all about. Your father, of course, and his pension for having sorted little affairs. A fair, Myrna, not a fair. You and Jordy marry and decide to have cheat on your wives someday. I hope this is going to be a lesson to you. Oh, now, wait a second. You just leave me out of this. Well, you're both already in it. You and Trey. Up to your royal conniving little neck. And that's why I'm glad you're here. I just sent Brenda to the house to bring Sam over here to face the music. So you just prepare yourselves for a showdown. Oh, thanks a lot, Myrna. It's about time that we... Got to the bottom of this whole sordid mess once and for all. So you just forget. Whose side you've been on up to now? Whatever lies or covered stories you've told to your father or to me. Because that's all past history. There's a whole new deal now. And I am going to make sure that everything is out in the open. Wait a second here. You just leave Trey and I out of this whole mess, okay? He's right, Mary. Now, damn it, Mary. As far as Jordy and I are concerned, we never wanted any part of this uh, sordid mess, as you call it, right from the start. Both of us were roped in, either by you or Dad. Now, as far as we're concerned, we don't want to get in any deep. Exactly. This is your problem, you and Dad. Now, I think you should handle it on your own. Well, I'm sorry. It's too late. Besides, both of you are involved, and there's no getting out of it. Ta-da! Mr. Sam Clegg himself. <coughs> this better be important, Myrna. I was in the middle of a meeting. Don't worry. It's important. Thank you, darling. You can run along now. What? Brenda, don't argue. Mother, well, uh, is there some kind of secret going on around here like I was left out on the front doorstep and you are so sorry you dragged me in? Don't be silly, honey. Of course you're part of the family. Then why am I always on the outside of the door? Brenda, please! Oh, all right. I wouldn't know what to do if I was included in something around here anyway. You know, I must be the only girl in history that has two brothers, one sister, and feels like the only child. All right, Myrna. What is it? Fran Burke has returned from Zurich. There's more for your Christmas at Sears. There's lots of holiday savings this week at Sears, like these cozy recliners and chairs. Save 50 to $200. Save 15 to 33% on all open home bed and bath. Big, beautiful fairy towels, just $4.99. Solid and print for kale sheets, twin size, only $6.99. Do you think you'll like it? I love it. You'll wrap up a beautiful Christmas because... There's more for your life at Sears. Jane Seymour in Le Jardin de Max Factor. Le Jardin. They say romance is back in style. I say it never went out. Le Jardin says it too. It says it softly. It says it softly. Because if you want romance to come on strong, 
Le Jardin de Mac Factor, the incurably romantic fragrance. Hello, I'm Otto Redenbacher with my famous gourmet popping corn and my new gourmet microwave popping corn and handy pop and serve bag. My special kernels pop lighter and fluffier than other corn. So do mine. Just pop it in your microwave, then pop it in your mouth. Mine tastes light and fluffy too. So does mine. Pop my gourmet popping corn or my new gourmet microwave popping corn. For the lightest, fluffiest popcorn, there's only one. Orville Redenbacher. Put a sheet fabric softener in your dryer once, and it does one load. Put Free and Soft, the revolutionary fabric softener, in one, and it does a whole month with its soft, static-free clothes. Just attach Free and Soft to your dryer like this. Then every time you use your dryer, clothes come out soft and static-free. No sheet softener stops static better. The choice is yours. Once a load softener, a Free and Soft. Is it once a month fabric softener? I was working at Mario's, and some guy called. He said he was the bartender at the Blue Marlin, and that you had told him to call me and tell me to go on home after work. Are you kidding? No. He said he had a, a personal problem at home, and that you were going to come in and cover for a couple of hours. So I thanked him and hung up. Bonnie, I never had anybody call you. Yeah, I know. After you didn't show for three hours, I called the Blue Marlin. And the real bartender thought I was nuts. Yeah, I, I can imagine it would. Why didn't you call me? Well, it was the middle of the night. I wasn't about to call you at home and wake up your entire family. And besides that, the longer I thought about it, the madder I got. I just kept thinking about how you'd won big gambling with Matt's money. So you thought that, that I had some buddy of mine cover up for me while I went out and went gambling? Yeah. It seemed to make sense at the time. You think that I would lie to you? Wally, I was angry and hurt. I don't know. I, I thought you stood me up for a card game. And maybe that sounds crazy now, but that night, you can't imagine how I felt. Yes, I think I can. My story's not much better. You want to hear a good one? I got called from some joker who said that he was Zed Diamond chauffeur and told me that Miss Angelo had told him to call me and tell me that you were going to some private party with Zed oh. and that you would call me when you got home. Why, well, that's absurd. Mr. Diamond would never invite me to go... I'm sorry, go on. Oh, you, you never called me. Well, of course you never called me because you were sitting right here waiting for me to call Ronnie. We have been had. And we took every inch of it, hook, line, and sinker. I can't believe I didn't have more faith in you. Wally, I'm really sorry. You know, worse than I am. I mean, I, I thought you you dumped me to go party with your boss. That's not exactly the epitome of trust, you know. But the crazy thing is, Ronnie, is I really do trust you. And I have faith in you. Oh, oh Ronnie. I wanted our night so very much. And I wanted it too. Wally, we can never let something like this happen to us again. Never. So I have to know who's responsible for this. I want to know who, who could hate us so much. Oh, yeah, I want to keep us apart. Brenda. <sighs> okay, I think it's time I did something about this right away. Now? You know a better time?
as a lawyer's daughter, it seems perfectly clear to me that your problem of deciding between revenge and protecting your daughter, that the revenge must be related to Amy's father. Am I right? You know, if this upsets you, we don't have to talk about it. No, it's, uh... It's all right. Can I ask you something? Of course. What would you do in my place? You mean if... If I hated someone and was looking for revenge? That's not an easy question. Because I was raised to... To control my emotions and control my anger. Which is not always healthy. But if I had to choose between... Expressing my anger for whatever reason and protecting my children, then there's no doubt in my mind that my children would come first. I wish it were that clear for me. Every time I feel that I have my emotions under control and I know exactly what I have to do, I lose it. Maybe I, I should talk to a lawyer and find out what my legal options are. Do you have a lawyer? No, no, not really. Uh, the man who handled the paperwork for the sale of Moon Lake, but I think that he just does closings and things like that. I wouldn't really feel comfortable talking to him. Friend, I think you should see my father. I mean, obviously, I'm prejudiced, but other people do think he's wonderful. And he's a kind man, and he's wise in ways that go far beyond the law. You should hear Matt talk about him. <laughs> Well, of course, you know how much Matt loves him. Well, I have a lot to think about. Clarissa, I can't thank you enough, and I really didn't mean to dump all of this on you. Fran, I'm the one who should be grateful. You've brought me news of Matt firsthand, wonderful news. I'm so glad we talked. I feel so much closer to you feel the same. Now remember, you have to talk to a lawyer. You're going to call Judson. <laughs> Thank you. How the hell did you come by that piece of information? Brenda. She called to speak to Wally. Fran Burke answered the telephone. Who knows what that woman was doing at the McCandless house? Well, she probably went over there just to tell Clarissa how Matt was doing in Zurich. Oh, or maybe she went to consult Judson about... About a lawsuit? It doesn't matter. Fran is back and she means to cause us trouble. That's an assumption I don't believe. You don't want to believe, you mean? Listen, that's why I, w I wanted to discuss this with you right in front of Trey and Jordy. Maybe they can persuade you to fight back before we're all ruined. And just how do you propose we do that? Any way we have to. I, I, I don't know. Trump up. A cover story about your activities the summer of 64. I mean, I don't know. Lie, perjure ourselves, do whatever we have to to, to protect Trey's political career and save Jordy and Brenda's inheritance. I... Oh, terrific, Myrna. So you don't want us to throw in a little arson and let's rebe And how about grand larceny? That's always good for about 50 oh, years. Oh, that's enough. Forever. That's enough. Myrna, the boys are not going to lie or perjure themselves. Why not? <laughs> They're always happy to share in the good times. Why wouldn't they be willing to share in the bad? Myrna... They've been stuck in our marital snake pit for months. And they're plainly sick and tired of the collusion, the deceit, the refereeing. And now you're trying to add perjury to the list. I won't have it. Now I want you two to go on up to the house. Well, uh, Give me a few minutes with your mother. Overnight trips are great, but I feel better when I bring along some special things, like my favorite slippers, my comfortable robe, and of course, these. Nighttime is the right time for Stay Free Super Maxi Pads. Stay Free folds soft material into three interlocking layers within the pad. It's called an E-fold, and it gives you triple layer protection that's super for overnight. And with all this protection, you can go anywhere and still feel at home. Stay Free Super Maxi Pads, super for overnight. 
sinus headache case history number 30, Patricia Kirkland. I have suffered with these sinus headaches for about 22 years. Can you describe the pain? Yes, it's constant pain, real tight pressure feeling. But it sounds like sinusitis. Now there's maximum strength Tylenol sinus medication, maximum sinus decongestant combined with maximum sinus pain reliever. I just feel great. All of the pressure that I had, it's all gone. That's a super product. Maximum strength Tylenol sinus medication. Maximum sinus medicine for maximum strength sinus pain relief. My husband, Alex Karras, was a testimonial for Lazy Boy Chair. Uh, he's saying his Lazy Boy recliner knocks him out. He's comfortable knowing a genuine Lazy Boy Chair has over 50 years of quality built in. And he says Lazy Boy is the original recliner with features still unmatched today. Lazy Boy, there's only one. Unless, of course, you count Alex. That's cute, Susan. Hmm. Lazy Boy. Because it was the first, and still is. Announcing a ready-to-spread frosting so smooth, so creamy, you could spread it on the most important cake of all. Introducing new improved Pillsbury Frosting Supreme. Our smoothest, creamiest, best-tasting ever. New Pillsbury Frosting Supreme. So supremely delicious, you just can't wait to taste it. The freshest ideas of baking, baking at Pillsbury. On The Young and the Restless, will Allison confess the truth about Victoria's paternity? I won't lie to you, Nikki. Too late for lies now. And Jack gets a warning from Lauren. You're dangerous, Jack. You stay away from Tracy and him. If you blow that apart, you may be destroying the best thing that ever happened to her. The Young and the Restless, weekday. Dad, I don't have any real details, and Fran isn't naming any names. But it seems obvious to me that whoever Amy's father is, that he and or his wife have conspired to keep Fran out of D.C., out of their lives. The poor lady. Well, she did say that she was betrayed by a friend. A woman. Oh? Any idea who that might be? I think probably the wife of Amy's father. Gets messier, doesn't it? Yeah, you know... It's hard to imagine that anyone can be so vicious. I mean, especially to a woman whose daughter may, may be going blind. Well, I'll have to have more details, but it sounds as if Fran is being defrauded of her property, and if that's so, then she certainly has a legitimate case. Well, that's exactly what Fran said. Well, she said she was a little confused about the legality, so I told her to talk to you and explain her whole situation to you. Well, I'll help her if I can. <laughs> Things sure do change, don't they? What do you mean? Well, a few weeks ago, as I recall, you and uh, Fran were at loggerheads about Matt going to Europe with Amy. And now, here you are, trying to do everything you can to help her. Well, of course I'm going to help her. She's a woman who's been victimized. And we're going to help her find those people who defrauded her. And help her even the score. You know, Sam, for once in my life... I feel absolutely helpless. If you don't deny Fran's accusations, you'll be admitting to the whole world that you cheated on me and have an illegitimate child. And I will be the laughing stock of Washington. Well, unless we can keep this out of the courts. It won't just affect me either. Trey will be hurt politically, and Jordy and Brenda will be embarrassed. Julie won't go untarnished in this either. Stigma will smear all. Oh, God, it's so unfair. Oh, please, man, pull yourself together. Stop all this doom and gloom talk. You know what I wish, Sam? I wish that I had had an affair that summer, <laughs> like you did. Instead of babysitting with Paula Denning. Plenty of men in the south of France, Lord knows there were opportunities. Well, maybe I'll change. Maybe I'll just start living differently now. Maybe I'll take off and have some nice little juicy affair. How would you like that, Sam Clegg? Hmm? I wouldn't. If you recall, that was a rocky time during our marriage. You were depressed. and needed to go off somewhere. I've been working around the clock for months. 
I was exhausted. You were gone. And all I knew was that I had to get away from the pressure. I never planned to have an affair, man. It just happened. But I came back to you. How many times must I tell you that you're the only woman I want? When you're fully in my life, there are no other women. And never will be. Like it, you guys. If every time that you were in a family discussion, you were told to leave, we would. That's why you wouldn't. And I don't either. I hate it. It's not fair. I mean, just because I'm the youngest one in the family, it doesn't give everyone the right to to kick me out of the room and make me feel unwanted. And it doesn't, baby. Now listen to me. We're wrong for doing it. But from now on, things are going to be different around here. Yeah, I, I swear it to you. Look, any t- look, Trey and I are going to include you in on everything. Uh, everything possible, baby. You don't mean it, Trey. I'm tired. Hey, hey, hey. Get out. You got my word. Exactly. Honey, if there's anything you ever want to know or any, you have any questions, just come to us. We'll fill you in. Huh? How's that sound? Great. Okay. Be nice to know something uh, for a change. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Wally McCandless is here to see you. Wally McCandless is here to see me? This is going to be the best day of my life. Um, Grace, would you please usher Mr. McCandless in? on campus and what one university is doing about it. The story tonight on the CBS Evening News. 